Grand Rising, everyone. I'm going to be doing a reading for you all. This is going to be a all placement, all sign read for everyone. So everyone is welcome to be here. No matter what sign you are, you are definitely welcome. Okay. Especially if you're high vibing and you're just trying to get this message that spirit has for you. Come on in. We definitely have a message here for you today. Okay. Let's just dive in and see exactly what it's going to be. Okay. Going to be using a few decks here. So let's dive into it if you come back later guys i'm gonna be having a read specifically for your finances gonna be coming from on the grind okay deck from aquarius to rome so let's see what is going on here what is going on collective what y'all been up to what's been going on in your energy that you are unaware of what is some hidden proofs that is happening unbeknownst to you. All right. I'm so excited. It's such a beautiful day. Today is raining outside and it's just so beautiful to hear the thunder out there. I hear Shango and Goddess Oya out there right now cooking up some storms. Man, it's so exciting to me. We're going to replenish some things and clear out some energies that needs to definitely be cleared out. So I'm excited. I'm super excited about that. All right. We have the yes card. It says, yes, luck is on your side. So that is exciting. Okay. You may have recently been seeing and experiencing or you have a keen um, regard to um, ladybugs. So, you, or you could be someone who likes to wear red and black as well. This could be um, your favorite colors. These colors could bring you a lot of luck as well when you do wear them, especially I'm hearing on full moons. Okay, we got a full moon coming up this Friday. Okay, there's someone else, okay? It says someone else is in the middle. Um, someone is trying to sabotage this. So, you could have someone who's interested in you or you're interested in someone or there's just someone that you guys, you guys have been, you know, um, interacting with. Um, this person, if you didn't know it, you may have um, been thinking about this person, thinking about where you're going to take it, if this thing can go the distance, okay? Um there's someone that's in your energy at this time okay and they're definitely seeing someone else you could be a water sign a cancer pisces scorpio or you can have someone in your energy that is this sign okay but they could be manifesting you at this time or looking into you at this time um somebody's definitely paying attention to you and pretty much trying to hold the power in their hands on what they want to do with this situation okay you see this person holding a ball it's like they got the power but yeah it's or you can have the power all right, maybe you're going to be dealing with someone else um, and someone that you're dealing with is going to be trying to sabotage this. This this is another um, channel I'm getting. OK, for one, it is someone you're interested in. They have someone that's trying to intervene. OK, there's another woman. All right. That you may not know about. OK, someone who could be younger. You could be the older lady. OK, you could be somebody's old lady and they have a mistress. OK, and then for others. There could be someone who is your friend that is definitely entertaining your husband or your partner. All right. And then for others, another situation is you have someone who is interested. No, you are interested in someone as well. Same, same similar situation, but different. And someone is trying to stand in a way or in a connection. Okay. Um, this person has to do with whether your connection move along or not. All right, so I'm saying you may be leaving this person and moving on, okay? You may be viewing it as a waste of time, okay? And I'm seeing that you're moving out of this energy because you view someone as a liar, okay? Someone could have lied about some type of pay, um, pregnancy and with the patient's card coming out in reverse, I'm just seeing that you don't have the time for this, okay? Um, somebody is at a distance from you, all right? And someone, your guardians could be talking to you or someone is going being led to tell you the truth about something that they have going on. I'm seeing that they'll be back all right so expect
expect to hear from this person that you're thinking about really soon, but don't expect to have a date night or go out with this person or anything like that. This is only going to be involving around them telling you. Somebody wants to ask you on a date. Somebody wants to ask you on a date um, pretty much so that they can knock you up <laughs> and get married to you. And that's the truth. Someone may have told you about this too. This is going to be the person who you discussed pregnancy with at some point or they've expressed wanting to have a child with you. All right, this is a fire sign, okay? A Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your energy at this time. All right, but I'm seeing you don't have the patience for this person. That's at the bottom of the deck. It says just more, just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. I'm seeing that this is happening now for some of you. And for some of you, this time has passed. Whatever this person was hoping to get out of the situation with you, that shit is dead. Okay, I'm seeing that you've moved on. All right, and it's looking like you're heading in the right direction. But let's go into the Alice in the Wonderland deck. Um, Spirit is leading me here. Let's see what's going on here. Any of those signs that are called out could be of relevance to you. All right, it says it's always tea time. All right, it says eternity, endless moments, repetition in reverse. Something is dead. Something somebody was doing hell of times, always trying to stand in the way. If that's this motherfucker, this bitch who always trying to stand in the way of a connection that you have with someone, that shit is dead. Somebody can't stand in the way any longer. They can't do shit about it. It ain't your fault that this motherfucker don't shine bright or stand out in that you do. Okay, it says you will make it through the shine, but this is somebody who didn't want more about that time. And, it in the, and it's in the reverse with this being in the reverse. Earlier, we had the patience card coming from the karmic cosmic insights. Yeah, this is about a karmic. So I wasn't trying to say that. So there's a karmic that's standing in the way of a connection with you and your person. All right. But some um, somebody's. Time is time is not on someone's side, although someone is under the illusion that it is. But time is working out for you like whatever you whatever you think is not going to come to pass or whatever you feel like the time has passed. It's too late. You or whoever this is that's in your energy. The time is not passed. OK, the time is only passed for this karmic being. It hasn't passed for you and whoever this connection is going to be with for you in this fire sign or water sign. Right, Spirit, you have any other messages for us? Give us the insight you'd like for us to see, Spirit. Channel through me all of the messages you like for us to see at this time, Spirit. Give us the clarity that we need. Somebody's soaking about um, a situation that they can't have. Someone knows that someone has choices. Someone could also see you as someone who has a lot of choices. And this could be making someone very sad, okay, that they see you with choices. And this could be also making another person of feminine energy very sad because they feel blocked and restrained. They feel like they can't get what they want out of a situation with someone. Yeah, it says, I wonder what will happen next. All right. Somebody's been seeing strange encounters as well. Somebody has been having some strange encounters with some supernatural beings out of this world. And now somebody is afraid. Their eyes could be turning dark. All right. Their eyes could be appearing bigger. All right. Somebody could be losing sleep. Somebody could be staying up reading books to pass the time. Okay. Someone could be hanging outside longer than they need to because they're afraid. Someone also has cats around them. This is someone who's a cat lover, all right, um, or cats have a liking to them or to you. Cats serve as a warning to you. It says, pause before action, press the P of change, ready to adventure. Somebody wants to see what, what somebody's, I'm getting that somebody has been reading some motherfucking books on how they, uh, reading some books on the occult, on how they can do some type of magic and shit like that. This is somebody who's planning on doing some fucking magic and then also going to get on a plane to escape, okay? This is somebody who's looking into some shit that they never really did in the physical but this is their past life this is what they've done many lives okay is what i'm getting 
this is someone they're like a fucking teenage um they're like sabrina in a teenage witch is what i'm getting all right that's the energy that i'm getting that's the truth okay it says um all must have prizes trying to please everyone this is somebody who is who feels like if you get every this person sees someone okay this person sees you or someone who's interested in you but i'm really getting you as someone who always gets everything that they want and they feel like it's unfair that everybody deserves to have prizes okay but this is somebody who don't love themselves and always trying to get other people's attention or get the um you know get the um approval from other people as far as you know um what they're gonna say if they do this what they're gonna say if they do that what they're gonna do what they're gonna say and shit they find out that this motherfucker been doing all this goddamn magic what is people gonna really say okay somebody gonna get found out about though and it's gonna get exposed and they're gonna start leaving they're gonna take a plane but somebody's not the reason why somebody's not sleeping in their house and going in the house real late is because when they go in that motherfucking house they see shit in there and that ain't nothing but the truth it says a moment's regret. This is happening now. It says idolizing the past, fearing you've made a mistake and reverse nostalgia. Yeah, somebody didn't know that they was making a mistake and that they was getting their ass in the world of shit. And now somebody has to pay the motherfucking piper. And we ain't going to say his goddamn name because, huh, we don't need him coming back here. But y'all motherfuckers who really know, you know who that black man is who wear that black hat with that black all black suit on with them dreads. You know who his black ass is. He appears to be a pimp, Mr. Smooth. You know exactly who he is and you specifically if you're a cross watcher you specifically called on this person okay you conjured or conjured him up to go up against people okay and now he's coming for your ass he's ready for you i'm hearing he's ready for you to come home so get your suitcases ready yeah it's good you're getting ready to take this flight on this plane okay there's a flight coming in that's going far away taking this person fly far away they ain't got to worry about flying nowhere because the plane gonna crash if somebody do get on a plane and not only that they're gonna die on the plane crash and when they do die on this plane crash or tr train ride or car ride wherever they're going whatever by means of transportation they're gonna die um by means of transportation and who you've been praying to or whoever this person been praying to Oh, they're going to be the first one they see when they motherfucking cross over. It won't be Asriel. Mm -mm. Asriel knows where this person is going. So Asriel ain't even going to interfere because Asriel has been watching this motherfucker in the spiritual realm and what they've been doing and who they've been doing it to. And that's a major no-no. All right. So, yeah. Could be an Aquarius. Could be a Gemini. 213, 613, 214, 614. This could be all about love. This could be over love and by somebody being all there in their feelings over a situation about love. But it is because it's over somebody else. They're going to have to go through this um, bullshit. They're going to have to suffer because somebody was trying to conjure up spirits to keep somebody. And they were playing with moon cycles and sun cycles. Yeah to play games they were using the elements yep 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 to try to hurt somebody and take somebody's life over a man but luck is on this water sign side and this fire sign side spirit what other messages you have for us High honor, distant horizons. Yep, you don't gotta worry about it because in a distant horizon, this divine, these are two divine beings. And in a distant horizon, karmic, because I heard karmic, my ears is ringing too. Well, yeah. So, um, in the distant horizons, you can expect somebody that's high honor, a mature woman, a mother figure, the divine feminine is what I'm getting from here. To no longer have to be working as hard as they was. All of this hard work is over. Gemini out here again. 6-6 six, six could be significant. No more hard work. It's all over. And the distant horizons. But somebody's coming into union. The divine is on their side. That's where that luck comes in. Yeah. And poverty is coming in for a mother, another mother figure. 
yep, yep, yep. A main female who's not so motherfucking important. And like I said, that two and that six keep coming out. It's consecutive. There you go again. Aquarius and Gemini is definitely significant here. Definitely, definitely, definitely. She's going into poverty. Whoever this main female is in the reverse who no longer is in a relationship. Um, I'm seeing I'm seeing that they're definitely getting um a, there's a breakup here. Okay. They're definitely getting left behind. Somebody um didn't want something to be over or for something to come to an end but it is happening with this main male they were trying to prevent an ending from coming in yep but it's happening anyway somebody could have tried to lie to the family and make it seem like they them and this person was still together and things were all good but that was far from the truth that couldn't be nowhere near the truth yeah but instead before this person um try to run away because this person got two situations that's gonna happen Got two scenarios. They can go to jail or they're going to be spiritually in prison and can't move forward because the divine is not protecting this person. This person is up for grabs. There's snakes literally around. If this person tries to walk their ass in this forest and go on about their business or walk out into a dis into a distance and go somewhere else, take a different route, go some go to a different city, go to a different state, take a new job, whatever they try to do to distance themselves from a situation to get something better, spirit isn't gonna allow this person to have a new happy beginning. They're gonna live in whatever cycle this was that they created. Somebody else is leaving the cycle, but this person is getting stuck in this cycle. That's where this coffin card is coming in at in reverse. This main female, you're not going to get a new beginning. That death card is not here to say that you're, uh, you're getting this new beginning. You're not getting a new beginning. Things are fucked up. Okay? And then for others of you, this person, these two people could have been trying to work up against a mature woman and put them in poverty. They didn't want them to work hard or whatever the case may be, could have been jealous about their work. This main male could be going to jail or to um, spiritual prison. 129 could be significant. 119, 12, 21, 229. And that's only doing leap year. 16, 125 is significant. And 114. But yeah, somebody is not able to have this happy um, beginning. And if they had, they were in a relationship with someone that they had kids with, that's not happening anymore. Because somebody was trying to go to jail. And they're going to find out that the court knew all about this and was watching them. And how they were trying to take something from someone who they didn't have children with. But I'm seeing, though, that somebody going to find out. Somebody... Somebody is thinking about marrying someone who they didn't offer a gift to in the past or who they're not able to give, give a ring to, but they do want to be with them and they do want to reach out to them and let them know this, that they want to marry them. Somebody left a situation and they left the work behind. They're no longer sleeping with somebody they were in a relationship with and in a house with. Somebody somebody is in bad health, mental health, having mental health issues. There's a wealthy man family room in reverse who was dealing with a false ass person who was only trying to come up off of money and they they was laughing about it they thought it was real funny and now this man because he knows exactly what someone's plans is he's making other plans to go in a different direction and so whoever he wasn't considering to give a gift to he's going to and then for others this person could be thinking about marrying someone without giving them a ring i don't know how you do that but somebody is they planning on doing that i don't know if it's just a test to try to see how much the person really care about them because in their past this other uh, feminine energy was you know trying to steal from them was a gold digger or what the case may be but they definitely don't trust easy and if you want to prove your love to them you have to be willing to marry them without a ring what type of shit is that <laughs> but that's what i'm getting that is what i'm hearing wow yeah this is somebody somebody's going to give you the ring but you gotta you gotta prove to this person that you really love them for them wow <laughs> i had a fucking person <laughs> some shit like that before and it's funny as hell 
but I felt them though. Like I really do, because people are so such gold diggers these days. Like you give a female a ring like this, you think you could be the roughest man in the world. Like this, is my daughter, little ring, right? You can give a woman a ring like this. We this is fake as hell. All right, you can give a woman a ring like that, and they're not gonna marry you, depending on what kind of woman they are. If it's a righteous woman, she gonna take that damn ring and be like, oh my god, oh my god. I'm getting married and it's not because she's stupid or foolish or anything it's not about the value of the ring it's more so about the sentiment of this person's feelings and their expression of how they really feel okay like I'm offering you my heart are you marrying me for my heart or are you marrying me for my money right so I felt that that person in the past who mentioned that to me it was quite funny but on some real shit it definitely resonated with me because if i was a um a man shit or a woman too like i'm gonna i'm gonna test you i'm gonna push you through different kind of shit to see how you really feel about me like would you be here with me if i didn't have nothing or would you be in would you, or would you be here with me <laughs> you know when I have some, something, or are you going to be with me? Are you going to leave me when all my shit gone? If are you meet me when I have something, or are you going to stay and rock it out? And if you meet me when I don't have nothing, that tells me even more how much you're willing to rock it out. All right? So, I understand. I done been in situations where people done tried to use me when my life was totally different. And I was living in a life and money was coming real fast and coming from everywhere. Because when you living in a life and you living damn near like you bind it to the devil you're gonna get a lot of good things that come and go and you're gonna be at the peak and the heights of having all the luxurious things but once you let those things go you could clearly see how people really feel about you and how people really fuck with you and how they you know their true intentions and what they really were and why they really were around all right so sometimes the crash and falling down and walking away or whatever and losing it all is actually a blessing in disguise but let my emperor come on in and offer me a little ass ring like this and it's from the goddamn gun ball machine i'm saying yeah i don't give a damn it ain't no i think i'm less than shit i could you know i could wait i could be patient <laughs> But we got the King of Pentacles in reverse. We got the Nine of Cups in the upright. And we have the Lovers. So, yeah, this is mentioning this man. <laughs> Confirmation. There's a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Could be a Gemini or it could be a water sign. Um, heavy water out here. This could also be connected with a lot of emotions. But aside from that there's a king of pentacles who definitely was a boss but they didn't have good spending habits okay they didn't know what to do with their money when they were a boss all right they could have been in that energy as well of being binded to the devil the way that they got their money in the past wasn't the right way and so um they although they had a lot of love for somebody they were um lovers with they lost a lot a lot and now i'm seeing though like and then for others, somebody could have lost a lot of money for sleeping around with people and paying them to sleep with them. Paying for, paying for the honey. <laughs> what is it? No, I, I remember <laughs> when I was in a life, because <laughs> I done been through a lot of shit in my lifetime. Like, I done been a prostitute, all the shit. That's when I say I was binded to the devil. And when I was in a life, I was making a lot of money doing it, okay? But it was as much as fast as i would make it i would spend it or it would be gone or i'll give it away or somebody always needs something and with me being an empath and having a good heart i always end up helping somebody out in some type of way okay and i had to learn how to change those ways and but aside from that i would have people i would have like the hispanic guy <laughs> they'd be like i gotta make sure i go to work and get money for you because no money, no honey, right? And they was damn right. They was goddamn right. Hell yeah, no money, no honey. Hell no, you ain't, hell no, you ain't fucking around with me without shit. That's how I was thinking when I was in that mind state. Thank goodness I've been reborn and changed and changed my mind and very grateful for going through that experience because it taught me a lot about who I am and who I'm not, but... The things you learn that you wouldn't have not learned if you walk in a totally straight path, though, for sure. Um, but 
anyway then we have the nine of wands out here and we have the two of pentacles so what i'm getting here is somebody want to keep fighting for something okay somebody want to keep fighting for a lover all right although they know this lover is juggling them that could be this someone else is in the picture this motherfucker who's standing right here this feminine energy who's looking at these people because look at this look at this picture right here okay these two are together this man clearly loved her but she trying to hold on to him as well and this nigga ain't shit he's still karmic he got some things to go through right so he's still doing the same shit so this feminine energy she's nobody she's just a mission she's just standing in the fucking way okay and she's trying to hold on to this man bind herself to this to this masculine energy so she's looking at his lover jealous wanting to start some shit okay because this man is juggling and she wants to be the option she wants to be the one who makes him happy yeah, the devil. Yeah, she wants to be binded to him. She wants to be the one who is the one. Magician, yeah. She's fucking pissed off. Could be doing magic to keep this man. The will is not going in her favor, okay? Things are not going on her side. Going, um, working out on her side, okay? Things are not working out for this person. And this is highly... um pissing this person off because this person does not have an offer for them okay they took they don't have an offer they never you know if they even if they did give them an offer it was never a real offer it was never nothing sustainable but i'm seeing that there's an ending to this situation okay this this um knight of cups pisces cancer scorpio that was juggling they're no longer going to be juggling they're putting that to an end because the world card is coming out here leo taurus aquarius gemini um gemini is significant here but um aquarius scorpio okay and we have the empress because the empress is here this man is actually with their true empress and so whoever this uh, feminine energy was that was trying to bind herself to this man to stand in the way of this empress and this um and her counterpart coming together this person is getting ready to face a lot of fucking bad karma for standing in the way and trying to block things okay yeah, because now this there's a foundation that's getting ready to be built. And this foundation is getting ready to be built with this emperor, okay? He sees who makes him happy. He's in love with this empress. He's not an emperor yet. He's going to become an emperor when he's in his energy, okay? I'm seeing that he's balanced out. He definitely wants this new beginning, okay? But he's not in, in his emperor energy because he was dealing with a karmic. But that tower is here, and I'm seeing that this Pisces Cancer Scorpio could know that, okay? It's been manifested that this would come to pass. Uh, Scorpio could have manifested this, and now um, someone is moving forward. That's the truth. Moving to calmer waters. Yep, walking away from the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody who had money, but they wasn't shit but the devil. Literally, the devil. And now that's that shit is ended. There's no more competition. There's no more working together with this third party. Somebody has um, taken off the blindfolds and walked in the hell away from this person. It's a no for this person. Somebody don't want to sit and reflect or try to work it out in any type of way for this with this Aquarius. It's completely over. They know who they're in love with and they have the strength to build with their inference and move forward. <laughs> And that's pretty much what I have for you guys. So um, I'm seeing that there's a two counterparts that's coming together. And when this counterpart come on in, this King of Cups, they're going to be coming in with not so much money, but they're going to be coming in. And none of that matters. What's, what's going to matter is that they're going to be with their inference and their inference is going to level them up. Because when you come into a light with the empress, she always boss you up. But that is what I have for you guys, guys. So please do thumbs up the video and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to be seeing you guys real soon. Until next time, have yourselves a blessed, prosperous, and fulfilled day. Make sure you're protecting yourself. Make sure you're always praying. Make sure that you're always staying grounded. And make sure you're always loving on yourself and someone else. I'll see you later.
Bye. <laughs>